Hey YouTube, it's me Turf and I'm here with a preview of the new over-the-air update for the HTC G2. Um, I just got a notification, I think last night, either last night or this morning. And when I woke up it said that there is a new update and to apply it. Um, I couldn't really record it because I kind of got busy and, you know, all that. So I had to wait for it to finish but the process is kind of simple you basically just press yes um, the phone downloads the update um, turns off the phone reboots it shows you a screen with a green um, rotating screen and a, a down arrow and I guess it means it's downloading and installing the um, update but um, I don't think it saves the update to your SD card so there's no way to distribute it um, but um, it downloads it to I guess the internal memory and then it installs it so here's the boot up time now it has the same boot screen by the way nothing changes really um, as far as the, the G2 look it, its exclusive look Just like if you update the My Touch 3G slide, it doesn't really change um, the boot screen and all that. But here's the boot time. I was pretty fast. It just did the little confirmation vibrate, and it's already up. So still the same slide, gray now, um, black looking, different from Froyo. It's loading up my home screen, I believe. It's loading up my home screen. All right, so there's what it looks like. Um, everything is basically dark now. Um, the um, like, I don't know what else to tell you. It's pretty much not that big of an update. Um, quite frankly, I did get excited like everybody else about it getting gingerbread, but really. It's, I mean, not that, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some dislikes or something like that, but, I mean, it's really not that big of an advancement. Um, the battery life, I guess you could say, is a little bit better, I don't know. Um, some people complained about their backlight going out after the update. Um, I still have yet to run into that problem. Um, my keyboard backlight still works but it's bright outside so you can't really tell um, all my widgets pretty much look the same um, the pull down bar is kind of more thick looking um, this now is a Google indicator um, green if you're connected to Google um, networks I guess and um, I believe it turns gray when you're just on your regular data. Um, but if I turn off Wi-Fi, this is an odd thing about it, which kind of like tripped me out about this update. When I turn Wi-Fi off, it says 4G. I don't know if that's normal. I don't know if that's an issue, but I'm pretty sure this phone is not a 4G phone. Um, say it's HS, HSPA plus which is in between 3G and 4G I'm going to wait for that to focus so if you can see that it says 4G it's really weird I'm pretty sure you can see the outline though I don't know it's not focusing right now but um there you can see it so it's 4G. Um, always has full reception, but I'm not sure. Um, all of the apps update um, relative to Gingerbread um, as well as the Android market. But I think you update that separately by going to Settings, Applications, um, going to All, then tapping Market, then um, Force Closing and Uninstalling the Updates. Then you should wait a few seconds and then you'll get the update updated Android market um, but otherwise really um, it's a good update but it's not a revolutionary um, update 
my thoughts on it are that I would rather have waited for the ice cream sandwich update. Now this is kind of like a theory type thing that people have been um kind of I guess circling but they say that they're going to make an operating system that's like epic and can be used for every um, handheld and tablet and all that they don't have to make any more updates kind of like iOS 5 is coming out uh, it's going to basically run smooth on the iPhone 3G and they don't have to downgrade back to 4.2.1 and all that so I suppose maybe this is all just like a big hype but it, I mean no speed improvements I guess the UI got better but the speed is pretty much still the same the G2 is in general a fast phone so I never had any problems still does that still can unlock it from the slide up doesn't do the gingerbread lock screen animations though just regular close out well, um, overall, that's just what that update is. Um, the gallery hasn't changed. I guess I can show you that. Um, from Froyo, that is. And my battery dies really actually kind of fast. Maybe because... Um, i got to show you the gallery first. But i got to show you another factor that could be killing the battery. The app drawer is still the same. So, gallery still... In the same way, um, but the settings about phone tell HTC. I think that's what's killing my battery because it says enable tell HTC sense. I believe it's just sitting there sending all my information to HTC. I'm not 100% sure on that, but um, that could be a running service that could be killing my battery, so I'm going to turn it off. Um, it could be. I'll turn it off later. But um, that could be a solution if your battery's dying. I don't know. Mine is dying actually relatively fast. But um, I know I don't really have any widgets that require updating, running. Um, but yeah, that's uh, over there. I update. This should also be coming to a T-Mobile store near you. That um, not a um, I think you have to go to a corporate store because I called one of the stores and they said that they don't do it, but another one does. But there are certain stores that you can go and take your um, My Touch 3G slide, um, My Touch 4G, My Touch 4G slide, etc. All the kind of post 2009 Android phones, you take them there and they upgrade them for you to Gingerbread um, or a Gingerbread special ask for that phone. Um, but I guess that's that. Um, so I don't know what else to tell you. I mean. Good luck finding something different about the update, besides the UI, I guess. But, um, thanks for viewing, subscribe, rate, and comment.